Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, and if you're not, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be doing like a little sip and paint, except we're sipping tea. And we're gonna have a little discussion. I kind of don't know what it's gonna be about yet, so I guess you're gonna just have to come along for the ride. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so for today's little chat, I'm going to be talking about five things I wish I knew before I went to fashion school. This isn't necessarily going to be bringing light to everybody's experience, but it definitely is going to be bringing light to my experience, which definitely had its ups and downs, to say the least. But let me first briefly say this by saying I did I did a two-year program and it was a diploma program at the Caribbean Academy of Fashion and Design in Trinidad and Tobago at the University of Trinidad and Tobago and I do have the opportunity to go back for the next two years to complete the degree which I contemplate at, like <laughs> I contemplate that every year but then I'm just like you know what let me just wait until I feel like I'm absolutely ready but then I'm like will I ever actually absolutely be ready who knows anyway so first thing I wish I knew before going in is to have some money <laughs> have money have like a good either constant income or have like a lump sum of money just stacked away piles and piles upon piles upon piles because that shit is expensive like i always say i should i i wish i had like a, a financier or a glucose guardian or a fructose father something along the lines because oh my gosh it got too expensive too quick i was not ready my broke ass was not anywhere close to being ready to having to take that financial burden and one of the things that really threw me off was there not being like any sort of list that warned you about the upcoming projects and um, how much you're gonna need to spend on upcoming projects or whatever there was also like no sort of heads up at the beginning of the semester or before you get into the program about the things that you're gonna need so it was just like a random week to week basis you'd <laughs> have to purchase like whatever you need for the week to come it began to get a little bit uh crazy with the expenses for me and i realized that it was like some weeks i would be like ch choosing between food and fabric or choosing between buying food and buying equipment it was wild so definitely have money or have somebody who has some money <laughs> and is willing to give you that money because let me tell you choosing between food and fabric is not the life you want to be living in such a high stress environment in such a high stress program second thing i wish i knew before going into fashion school is that it is so time consuming but my program was part-time so I thought I could do this part-time program and probably get a part-time or full-time job. That was, it was nothing of the sort. That part-time program was my full-time job. It was so time-consuming. And honestly, I wish I had gotten like some kind of time management skills before I had gone into there. Time management is going to be your best friend. Number three for me would definitely be to manage your expectations when it comes to how quickly you understand certain things, how quickly you pick up certain uh, methods and techniques. 
because that could really just damage you mentally and i would love to say that it's okay to take your time and learn things but obviously there's a schedule that you need to be learning things by which kind of um i think plays into you your mental games and also the fact that it is a graded experience just kind of makes you feel like some dying sense of urgency to pick up everything as the lecturers throw it at you so i i would definitely say you know be okay with not grasping everything to the uh to the full ex to the fullest extent and and not stressing out about it number four and this is more so a personal note to my past self learn to sew learn basic sewing skills learn pattern drafting at least basic uh methods <laughs> basic construction would have helped me tenfold when it comes to making this a little bit easier because at the time when we did have an apparel construction class there was a lot of students in the class one demonstration would be given and it was physically impossible for me to actually for everyone to actually see that one demonstration so i had to mosey on over to youtube to find the method that was being taught and kind of try and figure it out somewhat on my own which not necessarily the greatest way to go about it i wish i had known a lot of these sewing methods before i had gotten in that would have just made it so much easier honestly obviously this tip varies depending on the school that you're going to a lot of schools focus on different things some focus on construction others focus on the idea that you're pitching to them I don't know if it's fortunately or unfortunately, but the school that I did go to focused on construction, which I was not great at. And it always made me depressed. Yeah, it was, it was not a fun time. My final tip would be to go in open-minded. A lot of the times, the thought process behind going into fashion school is that you're going to come out as a fashion designer, which is great, lovely, fine, gorgeous. However, statistically speaking, that's not going to happen for everybody. So I think it's really kind of wise to go in, learn everything that you can learn when it comes to the fashion industry, find out what you're good at and create a niche for yourself i think this especially goes for people who don't live in the, the fashion capitals or huge fashion scenes predominantly because you can carve out a way for you to work within the industry while still securing a space that is your own that people know you for specifically now i'm pretty sure there are so many more things that i wish i knew before going into fashion school but these are the main five things that i wish i knew before heading into what was arguably one of the most mentally trying times in my life but all in all it was a great experience and for all of the hardship mentally i met some of the greatest people that i've ever met in my entire life and have had some of the best opportunities come from that experience so i'd say it equals out by the way i am finished with this illustration of my 50s evening wear inspired uh kind of ariana grande of the current time look so i'll be posting this on my instagram a little bit later So just want to pop in at the end of the video to tell you guys thank you for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye